The interactive discussion focused on issues of leadership positions, finance, family life, politics, religion, mental health and women's contributions to the country's economy. Kenko's urged women to start saving and use such savings to make a meaningful contribution to society. So we must start putting away the little that we have. We must start managing our debts, not with our egos, but with our, within our realities. We must try and see. To me, I see nothing shameful about somebody who sells fat cook over the weekend or does bribe. There's nothing shameful about that. So we must remove shame and stigma from the need to earn a second income. She also diffused the notion that women are only in certain leadership positions because of other influences other than their capabilities. People will often come to you to claim your position because they want you now to be forever grateful to them. And often, the people who claim that it was me who did this, it wasn't them. Maybe they just agreed, yes, it's the right person. But it is often not them. And you'll notice maybe four or five of them will come and claim the same thing. Because what is it? Success, victory, has many, many fathers. But failure is an orphan. Aras Governor Aleta Friedrich called on women to get involved in long-term developmental activities as opposed to ones of empowerment projects. Let us see to it that we are well informed and also be part of conversations that are going around these development projects that are happening in the region. Let's start to create interest. If there is a meeting call, let's attempt to get the information. Women also encouraged others and shared experiences on how best to use whatever is at their disposal to empower themselves and create networks of support.